Aides to soon to be President Joe Biden say soon after he's officially sworn in tomorrow, he'll take immediate executive action on his top priorities and campaign promises from the pandemic to immigration to climate change. The new president has an ambitious to do list for day one. So what's on that list and how much can he actually do on his own? Here's Devin Dwyer. The nation's 46th president. We're going to act. We're going to act to get COVID under control beginning on day one. Vowing sweeping action in his first day on the job. We're going to get to work delivering results right away on day one. We're going to reverse Trump's rollbacks of 100 public health and environmental rules. Joe Biden plans to sign a dozen executive actions just minutes after taking the oath, including one imposing a nationwide mask mandate for 100 days. It will start with my signing an order on day one to require masks where I can under the law, like federal buildings, interstate travel on planes, trains and buses. We need your help. Wear a mask for just 100 days. It's the easiest thing you can do to reduce COVID cases, hospitalizations, and death. With the stroke of a pen, Biden will roll back some of Donald Trump's most controversial policies, ending the national emergency at the southern border and freezing new construction of the wall, a barrier some border residents have been fighting to keep from their backyards. There's no invasion. There's no crisis, no national emergency. The national emergency that we have right now is a pandemic. He'll restore DACA for young undocumented immigrants, pause all deportations, and reverse a travel ban on visitors from 13 countries. On day one, I'll end Trump's unconstitutional Muslim ban. I'll push Congress to pass hate crimes legislation. And two years after Trump ended that controversial child separation policy, Biden will create a task force to heal those families still broken apart. Immediately on day one, I'm setting up a special commission. We're going to find those kids and we're going to unite them with their parents. Sources say President Biden on day one will affirm global alliances like NATO and the United Nations, which Trump openly criticized. He plans to immediately rejoin America to the World Health Organization and re-sign the Paris Climate Accord. On day one, when I'm elected president, I'm going to invite all of the members of the Paris Accord to Washington, D.C. On civil rights, Biden will reinstate protections for transgender Americans, which Trump rolled back in health care education in the military. His team also preparing to immediately extend a moratorium on evictions and on payments for federal student loan debt. Welcome relief for millions of families, especially those of color. It's a burden on families. It, it rips through families, communities, generations. These are generational curses that we are fighting to break right now. And as COVID response falters nationwide, Biden vowing to activate emergency resources to create thousands of community vaccination centers. On my first day in office, I'll instruct the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, to begin setting up the first of these centers. But some of Biden's biggest campaign promises won't come quickly or easily. To gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. You're right if you have an assault weapon. New gun controls, elimination of the Trump tax cuts, forgiveness of student loans, and citizenship for millions of immigrants will all require approval from Congress. And the first thing I'm going to do, literally, I've already had one written. On day one, I'm sending to the United States Congress a immigration bill providing a pathway for 11 million undocumented, and I'm going to make sure every dreamer is protected. Sources say Biden's immigration bill lays out an eight-year process to legalize undocumented immigrants. After paying taxes and passing a background check, millions could get green cards within five years and citizenship three years after that. But the plan would need Republican votes to pass. The Democrats only control the Senate 50-50 with the tie-breaking vote going to Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. So the question of whether they can do everything they want to do is very much up in the air. And in fact, they probably can't do everything they want to do. And first, Biden will need his nominees for the cabinet confirmed by the Senate. The confirmation process already lagging behind, delayed by runoff elections in Georgia and a changeover in party control to Democrats. 
President-elect Biden will really work to try to turn the page on the divisiveness and the hatred of the last four years and really lay out a positive, optimistic vision for the country and, and lay, out a way, uh, lay out a path forward that um, really calls on all of us to work together. After his inaugural address, Biden will take a symbolic step towards setting that new tone, joining the Obamas, Bushes, and Clintons for a tribute at Arlington National Cemetery. Recent. A day one salute to service and sacrifice as President Biden moves quickly on an ambitious agenda for his first term. Order. For ABC News Live, I'm Devin Dwyer in Washington. Quite a lot on his plate already. Our thanks to Devin for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.